A million dollar quartet is essentially a, a staged recreation of an actual event. At Sun Studios, December 4th, 1956, and what was a glorified jam session has become a story where you get to take a very intimate look into not only the lives of these four legends, but the beginning of rock and roll music and the man who gave this to the world, Sam Phillips. And they just sang a bunch of songs. They jammed the way musicians do. The show kind of goes off into everyone's individual story and you get to know a little bit about where they came from, um, the road that took them to Sun Records and brought them together, and then a little bit about where they're going in the future. Broadway's Million Dollar Quartet tells the story of passion, fame, betrayal, and a night to remember. Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, and Elvis Presley are the Million Dollar Quartet, now an international hit musical. It's the music you remember, the story you'll never forget. Kathy Rigby is Peter Pan. I'm the Emmy Award-winning Broadway show like you've never seen it before. A must-see for the whole family. Rigby hits new heights in Peter Pan. Don't miss this high-flying magical adventure, Peter Pan, with a Tony-nominated performance of Kathy Rigby. This way to Neverland! Bless our show, bless our music, bless the songs we're gonna sing. This is nothing but a really good time. There's nothing but fun in this show. <laughs> the story of this really sort of ragtag group of nuns who don't sing particularly well and a very out there young lady who comes into their midst and she freaks them out and they freak her out and suddenly it's a love story. It's a great show for families. You can bring anybody to the show. People you hate you could bring to the show. Eighty puppets, six comedians doing two shows in one. One show being the puppet show on the screens, the other show being the mayhem that goes on underneath the puppet show. <laughs> we have heard about it. Stuffed and unstrung, the improv puppet show with a mouth of its own.
everybody. Guess what? It's me, Dixie Longgate, your Tupperware lady. I am sorry I cannot be there because right now I'm in Melbourne, Australia. I'm all the way down under. I'm in Oz where they have um, people talk funny and they have um, uh, their toilets flush backwards. It's crazy. But uh, you might say, what am I here talking to you about? You know what? I'm coming back. In May of 2013, I'm going to be back in Fort Worth for a week of shows. So make sure you get your tickets. Come to Dixie's Tech World Party. Go on the time of your life. I met Susan at the Hungarian pastry shop. A student at the time writing a poem. And when I asked her for a cigarette, she asked to read my poem. Which I found very flattering until she took out a red pen and began correcting it. <laughs> Life at a marital institution is a true story about marriage and family. It's a crazy look at the dysfunction that exists in it. Somehow through all of it, a bonding and a love emerges. What am I thinking? <laughs> no, at the end of the day, you're another day older. And that's all you can say for the life of the poor. You know he gave him a good home